from the media and his opponents. He needs to stop. Okay, I'm on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. No traffic. I've got it engaged. Autopilot doing 70 miles an hour, the speed limit. And it's staying in its lane very nicely. You can see the blue lines on the dashboard. Occasionally it will wander here. It lost one of the right blue lines, but it picks it up again. It stays in lane. Makes this turn here. Coming up to an underpass. Does it fine? You'll see the what the probably see the right line go disappear there. But then it picks it up again. See how it does on merging traffic here. Doing 70. We've got a car coming in, but uh, it's just going to continue. Lost both lines there, but it picked them up again. As long as it can see the white lines in the road, it uh, performs very, very well. Sometimes it gets a little close on the left side, but uh, never crosses the line. I'm going to show changing of lanes, so I'm going to put on the left blinker here. You'll see it change lanes. And I let go of the blinker, or turn off the blinker. Also slowed down there to 67 miles an hour because of the traffic in front of me. Let's change lanes again. So we'll go to the right, it changes lanes, and then gets speeds up to 70 because I have it at uh, 70, which is the speed limit. And it gets a little close on the left side, but uh, I guess it maybe just errors on the left side a little bit. Traffic slowing down in front of us. We're doing 70. We should see it slow down. Don't know exactly how soon it detects it. But they're clearly not doing 70, so just started to slow down, 68. And it's going to come to probably about six car lengths or five car lengths. And then track right behind the car in front of me. They must be doing 55. And it'll stay that distance uh, behind the car in front of me. Bye.